Hi boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're going to relate fractions and decimals to money. So looking at this, how much money is shown? We're going to use our information to count our money. I'm going to start with my largest coin, which is a quarter, and add on from there. So a quarter is 25 cents plus a dime is 10. So 25 plus 10 is 35 plus 5 is 40 plus 5 more is 45. So 45 cents is shown. So I'm going to name that amount as a fraction. So if I have 45 cents, knowing that there's 100 pennies and a dollar, 100 cents makes $1, I have 45 one hundredths. So that means I have a little bit less than half of a dollar. Then I'm going to write it as a decimal. So to write it as a decimal, I would write 0 and 45 hundredths. I can also shade the hundredths model to show 45 cents, remembering that the whole represents $1. So I would shade 4 tenths and 5 hundredths, so 45 hundredths. Let's look at this problem. Now I have a dollar added in, so I'll end up with a mixed number. So the first question is, how much money is shown? So I know I have $1. Again, I'm going to start with my quarters. If I have two quarters, that makes 50 cents. Then I'm going to count on my nickels, which are 5 cents each. So 50, 55, 60, 65. So I have $1.65. Notice because I'm talking about dollars now, I've added the dollar side to the front. So it says to name that amount as a mixed number. For a mixed number, my one is my whole number and 65 hundredths will be my fractional part. So my mixed number is one and 65 hundredths. And then to write it as a decimal, it's gonna basically look the same as what we did before with the money minus the dollar sign. So I would have one and 65 hundredths. I can also shade the hundredths model to show one and 65 hundredths, remembering that the whole represents one dollar. So in this case, I'm going to shade one entire hundredths model to be the one dollar, the one whole, and then my second model is going to sh shade the 65 hundredths. So again, I have six tenths and five hundredths. So this would show one and 65 hundredths. I hope that you found this very helpful. Subscribe more. Um, subscribe for more videos from the Math Maniac and click like below. Have a great day.